Oh, we decided not to go to wineries this weekend. There was only one winery left and it's kind of far and Honestly, I wasn't looking forward to having to drive back late in the evening and then still edit. And I had a lot to do here, so hanging around the house today, doing some cleaning this morning. Roxy's crying at the door. <laughs> she wants in. I'll let her in in a minute. And then I'm going to have lunch with a friend, and he's in the process of moving, so I may be helping him move a little bit. Not sure yet. And then we'll see how the day unfolds. I realized in yesterday's video, as the words were coming out of my mouth, I was talking about the trash piles that I have on the floor floor that are vlogmas specific. I have a trash can and I have a recycling bin for all the trash that vlogmas creates. And I said I was going to clean that up at the end of the month and as I was saying this I realized I don't have to wait till the end of the month. I can have a clean room right now, right? Because the piles of things are really getting on my nerves. I don't usually live like this and I'm ready to get it out of the way. Although it's a little difficult because vlogmas and Christmas both require accumulating a lot of things. At least the way I'm doing it. You know what one of the most frustrating things is about making vlogs? Filming a whole segment and then going to edit it way later in the day or the next day and then realizing that you didn't press record. So I filmed this whole segment about how I showed you the mess in my room and there were these piles of boxes everywhere. I had piles of Christmas presents for other people in one section. In another section I had piles of things for Vlogmas and then I had this huge pile of empty boxes that I said I was saving for my friend who's moving and for packages that I need to ship. And then I showed you my desk which was really messy. I actually showed you that in a video a few days ago. But I just went to edit that and the footage isn't there. Wonderful. Well at least I have the after. Not the before but the after so here that is to this I know it's still cluttered I've still got a lot of stuff everywhere still have my vlogmas trash but I did organize it at least I still have a pile over here that's all YouTube stuff that does look a lot better to me it's a lot more manageable a lot more livable doesn't make me crazy nice to have a cleaner, more organized room again. It makes me feel so much better. Does that happen to any of you too where you, if you're in a cluttered environment, it really affects you? Like it affects your mental state? You're not as happy. I have to have things clean and organized. I feel so much better that way. By the way, I wanted to point out these bags that I put here, each of them is for a different person and they're filled with gifts for that person. I started using that technique last year and it really helped me keep gifts organized, whether it was stocking stuffers that don't go in until Christmas day, or in this case, for a few people, I'm doing gift baskets. Most of my people don't need stuff, so I'm giving a lot of consumables this year. And as I collect those, I'm putting them in a bag and then I'll create some kind of nicer looking display gift basket sort of thing once it gets closer to Christmas. I was inspired by all the subscription boxes I've been opening. It's really fun to open a box and get so many things. And I do have several more subscription boxes coming up during Vlogmas. One of which is a collaboration with a YouTuber that I found fairly recently and I love and I want you to go check her out. Her name is Laurel Bell. I will link her channel below. She's amazing. She's also doing Vlogmas this year. She's hilarious. She's one of the funniest YouTubers you're going to come across, especially in this luxury realm that we are in. So I highly recommend going over to her channel. Okay, I need to stop filming and go meet my friend for lunch. I'm at lunch with my friend. We're at this Vietnamese place that has a bunch of craft beer. I don't drink craft beer, so I'm going to get some wine. But here's the menu. The wine is terrible. Oh, Bummer. Yeah. 
On the way back from my friend's house, I stopped at World Market. I told you about them in my Black Friday video. I've been looking online at their website and today it popped up that they were having this 30% off sale and it's through Monday. It's a code or a coupon that you can use online or in the store. You can only use it once. And I decided to go into the store. There were a couple of things that I wanted that weren't available online. It said you had to pick them up in the store. Anyway, let me show you what I got. And I swear I was there for about two hours because there's so much to look at and there's so many cool things. And there are lots of other sales that are going on. You just have to walk every aisle and look at the signs. So this, for example, was 50% off the Ghirardelli Peppermint Bark delicious and some of these are for us in the household like those peppermint barks and then some are for christmas like christmas gifts um i got these danish cookies the butter cookies they're so good too got a couple of those they were five dollars a tin and then 30 percent off the food may have been 10 percent off and then some of the food like the Ghirardelli, was 40 or 50. got these for myself i discovered these last christmas they are so good they're dark chocolate cookies, and then they are coated in a white chocolate with little pieces of peppermint. Yum. This is for my sister and her husband's foster daughter. I got her a bunch of unicorn-themed stuff, and she doesn't watch my Vlogmas, so I'm not worried about spoiling any surprises. Unicorn poop. It's that jelly, moldy, gooey stuff that kids like to play with these days. And had I only seen it in the store, I would have thought it was $5 like it's marked. But I saw it online and saw that online it was $2.50. There was no sign about that in the store, so I asked the register and it was indeed $2.50. Would never have known if I hadn't looked at the website. Got a lot of stocking stuffer kind of gifts too. Oh, I got this for myself. This is a gray pashmina scarf and it has this nice weave pattern. I will say if you go in the store and buy one of these, look for poles in it. They were tied up and hung on a hook and the hook had made poles in a lot of these scarves, so look through those. It was only $10 and then 30% off. Oh, I also got her some pink unicorn hot chocolate. Super cute. Like I said in the Black Friday video, World Market is the place for stocking stuffers or little gifts like this. Got this lens set for a smartphone. It has a fisheye, a wide angle, and a macro lens. So I thought I'd try that out. A screen cleaner. So it's got a bottle of cleaner and a little white microfiber. I got a few of these for people and one for myself, the survival tool. I'm gonna keep one in my car and give a few to other people. So it's only $4. I also got a few of these, a purse light. So let me shine it away from you and show you how bright it is. There's one and then a blinking one. I'm not sure why you need a blinking one, but it's quite a bright light in person. It hurts your eyes if you look at it. So it'd be good in a purse and it's only $4. And the last thing I got was this adorable little tray. It's like a kitty rug and it's ceramic with a little gold rim. And this was $8, which I thought was a little much for it, but I knew I was able to get 30% off, so. By the way, Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Got my jasmine tea from yesterday, and no surprise here, it smells like jasmine tea, and it tastes like jasmine tea. I talked to you a little yesterday about Coach, and I forgot to mention that they are having a big sale right now. You're probably already aware of it. I went and looked at the sale for the first time yesterday. What's wrong with me? And I actually found that they have a Cassie in the sale for only $210. It's not this one but it's another one and it's beautiful. They also have the Alexa in the sale. They have this one, the black croc one, and a gold metallic one. It's like a, it's like a deep gold. It's very pretty. It would be a nice addition, especially a nice holiday bag. And of course they have many, many other items in the sale. So I'll link that below so you can check it out too. My bag of the day, the Louis Vuitton Petite Noé in the black epi leather. This is a vintage bag. I have videos on it, I'll link below. And I've added a few things in case you haven't seen those videos before and you're wondering, well that looks a little different from the Noé that I'm used to seeing. So it has the original strap, but I added I added this drawstring pull that I got from Etsy, and I added this little short strap from, that I got from Etsy, and I added these clips right here, these snap hooks, 
on the strap that I got from a local hardware store. This for me makes the bag a lot more functional. Inside is, it looks like this. I've got all these different pouches for organization and they're all open at the moment so it's not quite as pretty as if I had zipped them up beforehand. But one of the things I have in here is my Coach Nolita 19 pouch that I purchased recently from the outlet, the Coach outlet online and it is lovely and i really love it so far it holds i think i mentioned did i mention this already i don't remember it holds less than the pochette accessoire because it's a little smaller but at some point probably after vlogmas i'll do a comparison between this and the pochette accessoire this is pretty much always available from the outlet online Although the outlet online, they do these sales where they're a few days long and then you can't access the website until the next sale. This sometimes sells out. I think it is sold out in the current sale, but the next sale, it'll very likely be there again. So sign up for their emails and get notified if you wanna get this and then buy it right away. I would really like to carry my Cassie today. It's been a while since I carry that, but with Vlogmas, I have to carry this thing around everywhere and all my stuff in this wouldn't fit in there, so. Gotta carry big bags this month. Okay, you know what time it is, say it with me. It's advent calendar time. Let's start with the do-it-yourself calendar today. And who is at my feet? Well, if it isn't Roxy. Hello, darling. By the way, Vlogmas trash, Vlogmas recycling. Roxy. Item number seven is right here. This, do you remember I got a similar kind of beige one the other day for the Toiletry 15? This is an organizer for a mini pochette. Who would have ever thought that you'd need an organizer in a mini pochette? I didn't, but then I saw this and I thought, well, let's give it a try. I'll buy it, I'll try it out, I'll make the sacrifice for all of you so you can determine if you might want an organizer for your mini pochette. Now for the tea, day seven, right there. Sweet tart, sour cherry blast, oh my goodness. That sounds interesting. Good, I don't know, but interesting. It has apple, raisins, carrot, hibiscus blossoms, beetroot, sugar hearts, what are sugar hearts? Beetroot juice concentrate, white hibiscus buds, rose blossoms, sour cherries, it's one of the last ingredients, they must be really sour, and artificial flavoring. Well, that will be interesting to try tomorrow. Now on to Sugarfina, number seven. It has a pineapple on it. Gee, I, oh wait, that's not a pineapple, it's a snowman. I wonder what will be inside. Snowman gummies. Jolly strawberry flavored snowman gummies in festive, frosty, white, and red. It's hard to read. Hues. Alrighty then. Tastes like a strawberry gummy. It's good. Let's try the white one too, just in case it's any different. No, but tastes about the same. They're yummy. Now, Vlogmas 2019 goes to the dogs who aren't even here. They're nowhere to be found. Oh, I spoke too soon. She wants to be sure that we know she's alive and ready for a cookie. That's right. It's cookie time. Theron is also here, but he trusts that he will get his cookie in due time. Mm -hmm. 